Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will show you the minimum necessary information you need to create an inquiry dossier in Euclid. Let's start. First, make sure your Euclid 6 desktop version is up to date. You can download the latest version from the Euclid website. In order to see what kind of information you will need to provide for the inquiry, let's click on Substance. Create a new document. Write the name of your substance and save. Two additional tabs will appear on the top left corner. Click on the second tab, TOC, which stands for Table of Contents. In the drop-down menu, search and select Reach Inquiry. The mandatory sections will be marked with a red asterisk. The legal entity field will be automatically filled in. If you agree with the information displayed, you can continue to the reference substance. You will need to link a reference substance. To do that, click on the chain symbol you find under reference substance. If you don't find a reference substance by searching with inventory number, you can create a new reference substance. Provide a name for the reference substance, which easily allows you to identify it. Insert the EC number linked to your substance. If no inventory information is linked to it, you should provide a justification. Insert the UPAC name. And the CAS number. Provide the molecular formula and molecular weight of your substance. Finally, you need to upload a file with the structural formula and click on Save. Now, you need to define the type of your substance. In this case, it is a monoconstituent of organic origin. As last step, provide your role in the supply chain. In this case, we are indicating that we are a manufacturer. Finally, click on the Save icon. We have completed the identification section. Let's continue with the composition section. Create a record by right-clicking on the 1.2 composition text. Indicate here the state form of your substance. Then provide the degree of purity of the substance. You can indicate the concentration in other units as well. Now, you should provide the constituents of your substance. Click on the plus button and select the reference substance using the chain symbol. You can search for the reference substance or create a new one as explained before. Indicate the typical concentration of the constituent and the concentration range as well. If your substance contains impurities and or additives, this must be indicated in the following two sections. In our case, we have water as impurity. We click on the plus button and select the reference substance using the chain symbol. We can look for a reference substance by inserting the cast number or other identifiers. Insert the concentration range of the impurity, in this case, 2% in weight.
or substance does not contain additives and it's a not nanomaterial, so we can move to the next section. Remember to always save the changes made. Now, you have to provide the analytical information in section 1.4. Create a record by right-clicking on the 1.4 analytical information text. You need to provide the analytical information to cover at least one quantification and one identification approach. Under Analytical Determination, click on Add button. You must indicate the purpose of the analysis, the type of the information provided, methods and results, and the analysis type. You need to attach a file with the methods or with the results. If no results are available, you should provide a reason. Finally, you can also define the optical activity. Let's move on to section 3.3, Sites. As a manufacturer, you need to indicate the site where your substance is produced. Right-click on 3.3 and create a new record under Site. Click on the chain symbol and search or create your site. In order to create a new site, you can click on New. The minimum required fields in this case are Site Name, legal entity owner, and the address. Once you have inserted all the information, click on Save. In the next section, you need to provide the inquiry type and the information requirements. Specify the type of inquiry you have and fill in the information relevant for this inquiry type. In our case, we will select the inquiry type 3 inquiry for facing substances that has not been pre-registered. Now indicate under information requirements whether you have or not information that would require new, new studies to be conducted. Select the appropriate option from the pick list. If you select no, you don't have to fill any of the following sections. If you select yes, then for each relevant endpoint that you require new studies to be conducted, you have to select yes from the pick list. In this case, our information requirements don't require new studies to be conducted. You have provided all the information for your dossier and you want to make sure that no failures will occur after you submit your dossier in ReachIT. Go to the Substance menu in the search list of the navigation panel, right-click on the name of the relevant substance dataset and select Validate. Provide the requested information on the type of dossier and submission context, and then click Next to see the validation report. Make sure you also review the listed quality checks. The quality checks warning will not prevent you from successfully submitting your dossier in ReachIT. However, leaving a quality check uncorrected may lead to a later clarification request by ECA. After you correct all the submission and quality checks, you will be ready to create your dossier. Go to the Substance menu. In the search list of the navigation panel, right-click on the name of the relevant substance and select Create Dossier. Insert the dossier type, provide a name for your dossier which enables you to identify it easily in your dataset and click on Finish. A pop-up window will ask you if you want to open your created dossier. If you click No, 
you will be able to find the dossier by going to the home page and clicking on the dossier section. In this case, we can click yes to see the dossier. To export the created dossier from here, click on the search tab, right click on your dossier and select export. In order to submit the inquiry dossier, log in on your ReachIT account and submit the inquiry dossier attaching the exported file. Congratulations! Now you know how to create an inquiry dossier.